We also work for this brand, Philips, the inventor of the light, at least the bulb in Holland. And we were asked to come up with a campaign for this product. It's Sunny Care for Kids. And the thing is, they had been brainstorming internally for six months, coming up with all kinds of ideas to get something they called connected brushing. They came up with all kinds of difficult technology and stuff, but in the end, they couldn't find the idea that suited them. So we got one week to come up with a better idea than the 50 ideas they had, which they didn't like themselves. So how can we make brushing more fun for kids? And the first thing we did is not ask kids to brush for themselves. Because what kids don't like is being asked all kinds of things. We asked them to help somebody else out with their teeth, because all kids like to be Superman. All kids like to be better and be help somebody else. Try it. For example, we asked them, can you help a Viking get his teeth back? The only thing you have to do is brush yourself because then the Viking will get his teeth back. So we twist it around. This is the mouth of the Viking in first stage. You see there's some all kind of stuff here, sort of graveyard here, and a little um, Viking mountain over there. And if you did it very well, then wow, look at that. So we're not talking about your teeth, we're talking about somebody else's teeth. This is a little movie, so you get the whole picture. Um, the smart technology we used was super simple because there's one thing about the Sony Care is that it makes sound, Sony Care. And that sound can be recognized via an app. It's actually super cheap technology. It's two days of programming and it sounds very cool, but it isn't. So when the, you put on the Sony Care and you put on the app, the app listens to the Sony Care so we know exactly when you're brushing and when not. The Philips Sonicare for Kids is the number one dentist recommended toothbrush in America. But kids don't really care. And getting them to brush can be a real struggle. So how do you get kids excited about brushing? Introducing Philips Brush Busters. A game that uses interactive storytelling to make brushing fun. Meet Bjorn Big Tooth and Vicky One Fang. Bjorn's teeth are so bad that he's run into some social problems. My fellow Vikings won't let me plunder with them anymore. <laughs> and then there's Vicky. Thanks to that stupid cherry soda, nobody is like afraid of me anymore. Please help fix my teeth. Kids can be their heroes. All they have to do is brush their teeth twice a day. Brush Busters uses sound recognition, so we can hear when they're brushing and when they're not. What are you doing? The battle isn't over yet. Pick up your scrubber and brush. Scrub for the recommended two minutes and a tooth is saved. Victory! But forget to brush and one will go bad. By rewarding every brush session, brushing never becomes boring. But changing a kid's behavior is not done overnight. So we're involving the parents by letting them set rewards for good brushing. And they can check a special calendar to see if it actually happens. Even the dentist plays a role. They have comics about Vicky and Bjorn in the waiting room and they can book appointments well, right into the app. You get the idea. Brush bust. Um, what is interesting though, is that you see these two characters, and when you introduce characters, you're directly competing with every fucking thing that is in car Cartoon Channel, or on Disney, or whatever, so you better have it right. We did a lot of researching, and actually collaborative creation with kids, on what kind of characters they like most, and most important, what are the backstories of those characters. Because for boys, for example, they like rough stuff, it's very cliche. And for girls, for example, they like to solve beauty problems. Because this Vicky one thing has a beauty problem, she doesn't look good anymore, and the girls sort of tap into that, while the boys are just wanna help the guy being able to plunder again, etc. And it sounds very cliche, but it's oh, oh, oh so true. So all the narrative, all the stories, we tested them, just not with the client, but directly with kids. We invited them and we gave them every possibility to say whatever they like. Here you see some early sketches of um, development. Here is an old, uh, old version. This was a quite ugly version. I think they didn't make it. Um, 
but we spent quite some time again in, in crafting these things. It's not only the idea, it's as much the execution that makes your idea. Some early sketches again. So in this case, we work with a very small, just out of school 3D animation studio. They were super good in making character animation. Um, learnings from this one. Um, solving something is nicer than being asked to brush every day. So we got away from the, from the whole subject of brushing. We just asked for help for kids, and kids like to help out. Spend time on a storyline, like I just told. Um, this was a storyline based out of 20 times two-minute stories, because we knew from research that if you want to change your routine or bring in a routine, you need about 20 repetitions. So we based a storyline about that. Well, the interaction, like I said, putting on the brush and go, and the media, well, every kid likes a tablet. I think I saw five of them here tonight, um, or phones. So that's quite obvious that you should go there. 